Hey, hello, hello, hello. I am Sars Tina, and today I'm gonna teach you how to measure and weigh yourself. So if you haven't gotten this book already, go to my website, click the link somewhere, and order this book. This is your fitness journal, your transformational fitness journal. It's good for three months, there's no dates in it. And there's one section in it that I'm gonna focus on today. I'm not really sure if you can see that. And it's the section that talks about recording your measurements because when you're on this fitness journey, you have to always, when I say always, always check in with yourself because a bad weekend, a bad relationship, a whatever can just change everything in your life. So we're gonna start with the most. Okay, it's not the most important thing, but it's good to keep us accountable. It is a scale. This is a scale I use. I absolutely love it because it's attached to my phone. It's the et Etika City. E-T-E-K-C-I-T-Y. And the thing I love about it is when you get on it, it measures everything. It's connected to my phone. It tells your weight, your body fat, your BMR. It tells your pro, it tells everything in your body. Now, right here, you want to weigh yourself once a week. That's a suggestion. You can do what you want. Some people do it every day. Some people do it once a month. Some people don't do it at all. They go buy their clothes. It's whatever you want. Um, I suggest once a week, and I suggest you measure yourself once a month. Super important to measure yourself. Now, a lot of people really don't know how to measure themselves. First of all, you got to get a tape measure, okay? Okay, okay, okay? Here's a tape measure. So first, we're going to start with the abs. I like to say touch your belly button, and where your belly button is, that's where you want to put the tape measure. Simple, right? Touch your belly button. I like to do it two or three times, just kind of see where I am. Now... Sometimes your belly may be a little big and you can't find, not so you can't find your belly button, but there's a lot of levels to it. There's like a lower and an upper. So what I do for that is I'll touch the belly button, measure that, and then go an inch below, measure that, and then an inch above and measure that, depending on you know what that looks like. So that's the first one, is your abs. Then your arms. So I like to stick my arm out to the side. It's kind of challenging if you're doing it yourself, but it is doable, trust me. Okay, so you're here. You're gonna measure here, and I always like to find the biggest part of the arm and then write that down, that's the arm. The next measurement, your calves. Again, these are all super optional. I like to come out to the side here. Again, the biggest part of the calf, boom, done with that. Next part is your chest. So for ladies, I like to go across my back and then right across the front, woo! All right, that's your chest. Uh, you know when you go for a bra, they usually go like underneath here to see where it's gonna be, depending on you. know you. Uh, just make sure, this most important part is that you measure the same place every time. Now your hips. For me, I like to put my legs together, stand up tall and go right underneath my booty. So right underneath the booty, you're here. Boom, right underneath. And it looks like I need to get some running going and some things, because <laughs> the measurements aren't looking super cute on me today. All right, hips, and then, the, well, I like this one here, the thighs, because I've always had big thighs. So I spread my legs out, and again, you're gonna go across the biggest part, the biggest part of your thigh, and you're there. That is how you measure your body. Again, you wanna do that once a month, and the cool thing about this book is you can write it down. All right, guys, so that's it. Thank you, bye.